Welcome back to my Speak Like Shaft series. These videos are vital for anyone who's feeling a little bit lost in the language of business. I explain tricky terms and break them down for you in an easy to understand manner. Today, we're going to look a little bit closer at the phrase mass communication. Yes, I know that you know mass communication at its very simplest means putting information out there on a large scale for a wide range of people. What's changing is how the information is being communicated. Let's look at how it used to be done. We're going to go all the way back to the Stone Age and hang out with my friend Rab the Rockstar. This little dude became the world's first entrepreneur when he came up with the idea of making and selling tools that would help his fellow villagers capture more prey. Well, have you ever tried hunting a fish or a deer with your bare hands? It's not easy, believe me. So Rab started his business and all the villagers snapped up his tools, but it didn't stop there. Rab embarked on a campaign of mass communication to let people in neighbouring villagers know what he was doing. He hired a promotions team to visit other villages and spread the word. Not only that, he used artists to do cave paintings to let potential customers know what was available. Now fast forward 5,000 years and mass communication is still used to get information and messages out to as large a number of people as possible. The information might be a public safety message, it might be advertising, PR, or it could even be used to try and influence the public. Let's look at the methods of mass communication. We are living through a digital revolution and the internet has forever changed how we consume and put out information. It means that one single fact can be around the world in just a few seconds. What it can lack is proper checks and balances and has without a doubt given rise to fake news. We scroll, tap, log on and take in communications on a scale that we've never done before. It's the most far-reaching tool of mass communication. Physical borders and programming regions just don't exist. So a company, individual or government can choose a worldwide audience or a hyper-local one. Television reaches a huge number of people. According to FIFA, 3.5 billion people watched part of the 2018 World Cup. Never mind goggle box, it's mind boggling. Using TV as a medium means you can target your audience through specific channels and time slots. Adverts, campaigns and public service all thrive in TV. You might think of radio and print as being a bit old fashioned when it comes to mass communications, but I think they're still a vital way of getting a message to people. Britain's best-loved radio show is Ken Bruce on Radio 2 and he broadcasts to an incredible 8.49 million people every day. Likewise, The Sun just sells under 2 million copies a day. Sure, that is down from its heyday, but it's making up the difference with website hits. To me, those figures speak for themselves. If you can command that sort of loyalty and reach, you're clearly doing something right and getting your message out there. Of course, I'm a big fan of mass communications through my free YouTube channel. I'm able to interact and communicate with people that I just wouldn't have been able to before. I love it. It's given me an opportunity that I've grasped with both hands. So what I need you to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and I can get my message about business straight over to you.